preparing a muslin toile for a fitting. So whether you're doing a fitting for costume design or a fashion design, the muslin toile is the first step in building a costume or, or creating a fashion design. So we want to make sure that that muslin toile is properly prepared to give you the best chance of getting a really accurate, true fitting. Um, first of all, the muslin should be clean and pressed. And when I say pressed, it has to be under pressed so that the seam allowances are pressed under, the, the side seams are pressed open, but be careful about over pressing. Muslin can pucker, it often has a lot of sizing in it, so be careful not to overpress it or oversteam it, or you're gonna be uh, unhappy with a lot of puckering. So it has to be beautifully pressed and ready to go. Grain lines should be clearly marked on the main pieces. Here we have bust marked, waist marked, princess seams. Um, this is a second muslin fitting and we don't need a center front because we've got a seam but um, grain lines as much as possible with a thread trace or a pencil line. The um, center front and center back should also be clearly marked. And here what I've done is for the center back, I've marked one inch, the one inch on one side and pressed under the one inch on the other side so that I can easily close it up on the model when the time comes. Um, these are, this is the key for the seam allowances. So um, one inch for the center front and center back, three quarter inch for your side seams, half an inch for curved seams, armholes, necklines, and hems two to three inches. So that means during the fitting, you'll have an opportunity to open that side seam a little bit. And also for the center front and center back, you'll have the opportunity to open them up. One, the one inch gives you that. For the armholes in the neckline, especially if it's a curve like this, you can't really go more than a half an inch or it's really gonna pucker when you turn it under. So what we want, the goal is to have all the edges clean and pressed, no raw edges. So on these curved seams, what's happened is we have a machine stay stitch at the half an inch, which is then clipped, pressed under, and then top stitched. This top stitch is done in a slightly darker color just because I wanted you to be able to see it. But this top stitch here is quite invisible and so we can clearly see the neckline that we've got. We don't wanna be distracted by raw edges and messy stitching. We wanna get the clear picture of what we've got going. So all edges uh, finished. Hems, we like to have that two or three inches because again, uh, we want to be able to adjust it, pull it out, so we hand baste that hem with a, just a running stitch so we can easily just pull it out and let it down if we need to. Closures, uh, sometimes we, we may want to put a zipper in, especially if it's a foundation such as this piece, because then we can really see how it's fitting. But if you need to, we can just do what we've done here and pin once it's on the model. Also, what we can do with these fittings is do a pre-fitting on the mannequins. So I've got my muslin on the form and I'm checking the neckline, I'm checking it against my sketch, I'm uh, perhaps double checking the measurements of the actor or model with the measurements of the muslin, making any final adjustments that I wanna make before I try it on the model. That'll give you a head start and solve any issues that might come up at the last minute before you take the time with the model.